Namaste Soul Circle. I'm Stephen. I'm Candace. And we're from Arcana Mind Body Spirit located in Toronto, Canada. Today we are discussing Danu. So before we get started, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and that little notification bell to be sure that you don't miss any of our other upcoming videos this month as we dive into the origins and energy streams of prominent female power consciousness from all different pantheons of belief. You can find the ones that resonate with you the most and integrate them into your work. Let's got it! Let's got it! Dano is an ancient Celtic goddess who is considered to be the great mother of Ireland. The word Danu means wisdom, knowledge, and abundance, but also means flowing one, which makes sense with her connection to abundance. Some would say she represents both the nurturing mother goddess figure, but also the powerful warrior goddess. The root of her name, Dan, is ancient Irish and represents knowledge, skill, and wisdom. She's also showed up in a lot of different texts as Anu, Anna, or even related to the Anukin. Similar to Gaia, Danu is in correlation to the earth and earthly fertility. Many lands in Ireland are associated with this goddess, such as different farmlands and specifically Kerry, um, and other rivers as well. Unfortunately, many stories of Danu have not survived throughout history. Once again, we can thank the patriarchy for removing strong female legend and history in order to feed the male-driven societal power. Right? The patriarchy has ruined so much over time. It's yeah. unbelievable how much of history has been taken away. Yeah. And altered and just is, yeah, yeah. you really have written. Exactly, right? It's through the voice of something that is only feeding one story. Yeah. Yeah. But there still remain some aspects of her story in order for us to piece together just how significant this goddess is. Such stories as her union with Billy and the god of light and healing, who along with her and the birth of Dagda, nurtured the land for the union of male and goddess energy. See, we can do it together. Another story that will probably show up the most if you decide to go on and do some further research on your own is the story of the Tuatha de Danann, aka the people of Danu, who are considered the Irish gods. This is the story of the people who were banished from Ireland, taking refuge with Danu. They were able to come together. She nurtured them back into strength and taught them the ways of magic wisdom. It is said that they returned back to Ireland, carried on the loving, magical mists of Danu. The goddess Danu is also associated with the goddess Bridget, who we were talking about earlier in the year on our Sabbath video for Ostara. Um, they are both teachers with ties to being a warrior goddess. Mm, and both very wise. Mm. Because Danu holds the energy of her nurturing mother, she is often portrayed alongside animals, specifically those who move with freedom, like a horse or a bird or even a fish. Yeah. In a whole, Danny was a wise teacher who brings abundance and wealth into the lives of those who call upon her. She is thought of to be the most ancient, all-encompassing, divine matriarch of the goddesses, the full essence of her feminine energy taking on a maiden, mother, and crone. Mm, she's a whole package, baby. She sure is. <laughs> when working with the goddess Danu, look to calling on her to seek nurturing, luck, magic, new beginnings, manifestation, transformation, health, and wisdom. Colors to focus on that you can uh, either wear or dress your altar with are blue, silver, white, and green. Mm -hmm. You can also choose to either decorate your altar or hold while meditating river stones, gold, amber, or crystals and stones with naturally occurring holes in them. Water scrying and earthing are also solid ways to connect with Dawn. Consider pulling a major arcana card, the Empress, for another focal point for your altar or when you're working with meditation. Scents to work with would be amber uh, or anything else that's related to water. Well, there you have it. I love me some goddess time. I do too. 
So be sure to comment below and let us know which of these goddesses resonates the most with you. Who do you identify? And also be sure to go back and look at some of our previous goddess videos. We did our crescent moon goddesses and our new moon goddesses. And I love the content for all of them. Yeah, me too. Really great. So be sure to hit that like and subscribe to our channel so that you can find your way back to us because I'm sure at some point we're definitely going to do some more goddess chit chat. Absolutely. In the meantime, Arcana releases three videos a week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And you can find us live each morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Facebook. So make sure you follow us there. Many blessings, and we will see you next episode. Namaste and much love. Mwah.